So before discussing this problem, let me just introduce you to image method. Very brief introduction. So you have a charge in front of an infinitely conducting sheet. Then if it's infinitely conducting, you can say it's grounded or its potential is zero. So if you place a positive charge there, the negative charge will come on the split. And because it's a conductor, electric field will be perpendicular to it. So electric field is perpendicular and potential is zero because it's grounded. So this situation can be replicated with this one, where you have a minus Q charge on the opposite side and at the symmetrical position. So in this case also electric field lines are perpendicular to this imaginary plane and the potential at all these points on the plane is also zero. So if you take any point, this will be K cube by R minus K cube by R. So zero on any point. So that means for our calculations, we can replace this by this. And at least on the left half of this plane, you can see that everything is similar for this plus Q. Which means using the concept of electrical image, that is effect of infinite conducting sheet can be reproduced with a symmetric equal and opposite charge. So effect of this sheet on this charge can be replicated or reproduced with a symmetric equal and opposite charge which is on the other side of the plate. So we are going to use this concept in our problem. So we have a sheet here and one conducting ball is hanging on top of it. And later we give some charge to it. So it pulls downwards by distance X and the length between the sheet and the charge becomes L. We need to find what is the Q charge if the stiffness of the string is K. So neglecting gravitational forces compared to electrostatic force, we can say that because it is at rest, upward force on this charge is same as downward force. Upward force is Kx and downward force is Kq square by 2L whole square. So total distance is 2L, which will give our answer Q is equal to 2L root of this. Now we neglected gravitational force because if you can just check the question number 3.1 to see why we can neglect these forces, gravitational forces when we are talking about electrostatic forces. So this is the image method and this is the first question of image method. So later we'll have, now we are going to do several more questions on this and I won't be explaining this concept again. We'll be directly discussing the problems now on using this concept. So again, uh, one thing, just be very sure, on the right side, there are electric field lines here, they are shown, but in reality, there are nothing, no field lines on the right side. So this method works only if you are talking about the effects on the, this side of the plane. And we will never discuss what's happening on this side using image method because that will give us erroneous results if we try putting this minus Q on and solving for something on the right side also. So, see, I'll give you a simple example. If you take a point on the left side of the plane, then this can be treated as a dipole and the calculations will work. But if you take a point on the right side, then this is not a dipole. Then there's nothing actually. There are no field lines on the right side of this conductor. But on the left side, this pair will act as a dipole. So everything on the left side of the plane, we can deal with by using this method. Yeah, that's it.